In New Jersey, state leaders are working to combat a surge in cases. Governor Phil Murphy imposed tighter restrictions on indoor gatherings. But four mayors in the state's hardest hit county of Essex want to take things further, eyeing a shutdown of non-essential businesses for up to three days to curb rising infections. And joining me now is Mayor Ted Green, who represents East Orange, a city in Essex County, which is where I grew up. I grew up in Milburn, New Jersey, so I'm an Essex County uh, girl. Uh, Thank you for being here. What is the point of a one to three day shutdown? Why did you decide uh, to do that as opposed to other options? So, uh, first of all, thank you very much for having me on. Uh, You know, our effort with the four urban mayors were that we are three cities that are adjacent to each other. If you walk into um, Newark, you can walk right to East Orange. If you walk from Orange, you can walk into East Orange. If you walk from Newark, you can walk into Irvington. And what we did, we know that you cannot do one without the other. If Newark shut down, we know for a fact, if we don't do a joint effort when it comes to closing down these stores and closing down uh, folks' businesses, it will affect all our communities. Because what happens is that if you shut down Newark, folks are going to come to the stores or they're going to come to our liquor stores here in our community. They're going to come to the fast food. So if we're going to uh, try to help um, this surge when it comes to this COVID, we knew that we had to work together. We have been talking about it. We meet about it. And when it does happen, we came up with just a few ideas saying, let's start with one day and maybe people will get the hint and maybe people will stay home. Maybe people will stop moving around. And then we say, if that don't work, you know, and we're still working on how to implement um, the shutdown, you know, in the city of East Orange, we're calling it what we call tough love, right? And tough love is that we know that it has been 35 uh, weeks now, right? Where we went from last March to present. And now in the city of East Orange, and in the city of Newark, you know, in Essex County, Newark is leading when it comes to this surge. And in the city of East Orange, we leading in second to this COVID. So we, yeah, we and knew if anybody that. knows anything about the geography, uh, the geography of the area, you can just go straight down Springfield Avenue and go through all four of these towns. So it is important that there is coordination. In terms of the three-day period, is that specifically um, to send a message to your constituents that this is seriously, they need to really stay at home unless they're essential workers or, um, you know, they're going out for an emergency. They absolutely must try to take this seriously and stay home. Yes, listen, uh, you know, many of us, we've been doing this since last March, right? And and the message is clear. They know how serious this is. You know, we're still losing lives. People are still being hospitalized. Um, young people are now being affected. They're seeing it every day. I guess our effort was, you know, if you do not um, comply, and listen, we're following the governor's executive order 195. But again, as mayors, we know that we have a pulse on our communities. And we know for a fact that if we didn't take a stand, a unified stand, that we'll see these numbers balloon. Listen, we're coming into the Thanksgiving weekend, and we're coming into the Christmas holiday, then New Year's. And we, we wanted to send a message to our communities is that as as mayors, you know, we have a responsibility and our responsibility is to make sure that we safeguard everyone. My city is 65,000 residents in our community. We consider a bedroom community. And East Orange is only 3.9 square miles. And we kind of condense, Newark, condense, Irvington, condense, Orange, condense. So if you come to our communities, we're on top of each other. We're on the side of each other. And, and when you see these numbers starting to balloon, we, we have to, you know, scratch our head and say, hey, we have to take a different approach and making sure that we're going to shut down your business. First, you know, we have a, a rules and regulations now, and we have some things in place where they're shutting down at 8 o'clock, and then essential the business is shutting down at 10 o'clock. But people are still moving, right? But if we don't do that together, the four cities, then it won't work. Yeah, and Essex County uh, has the most cases and deaths of any county in New Jersey. So uh, you can understand uh, why you all are taking such serious measures. Do you hope that these current restrictions are enough to curb the surge we're seeing? Or are you planning on perhaps extending it to more days 
if it doesn't help uh, curb the surge? Listen, we, we, we quite often say we're going to do everything we can to make sure that we do our part. We know that folks are still waiting for the vaccine. But again, in essence to that vaccine coming out, we got to do everything we can so our numbers will kind of level out. You know, listen, we did it once before. I know we can do it again. And if it take us to shut things down for 24 hours, then 48 hours, then 72 hours, we, 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 we're going we're gonna to have to do it. You know, we're going to have to come together and say to folks, listen, it's not the most popular thing to do, but it's the right thing to do to make sure that we cut down on moving. You know, what, what, what all of us are afraid of is that how these numbers are going to look after these holidays um, come through, right? So we, we, we want to be in front of it. We want to make sure that we have measures that we can take. But again, we, we are going to be working with our governor because I know for a fact that he has um, the executive order and, and, you know, we want to follow that. But again, we are taking some proactive measures to make sure that we are ready to go when we have to go. But we're going to do it together and we're going to do it collectively with the four surrounding cities. In the last minute here, do you think your residents should celebrate Thanksgiving in large groups or do you recommend uh, that they not do that and just, you know, stay with the folks that are in their current households? What are you what are you telling your constituents? You know, that it, it, you know, listen, traditionally people um, every year they celebrate with groups and families. And I know it's a little hard for us, right, to tell a family member, hey, if you come over to the house, <laughs> have that COVID test, or I got to take a temperature reading, right? It's hard for all of us, right? But I do suggest that we settle in and, and, and lessen our family members, our friends coming over. Listen. We, we, are, we are in an age now where we have, we can FaceTime each other, we can go on Zoom and still have music and enjoy each other. You know, we, we just have to discipline ourselves to this, to, to this COVID settle in and it levels out. But right now, I, I do say that people should lessen the family members over the house. And listen, especially if we don't know how they've been traveling. But if, if you want to have family members over, then you're going to have to take the the high road, and you're going to have to have all those individuals, you know, and you don't want to do it. How can you tell your aunt that's been your aunt for 30 years? And I, I sue, you got to go take a COVID test, and then I need to see the paper. So right. when everybody over here, and, and we never had to do that, right? So we into a, but guess what? If we love each other and we care about each other, why not? Because if our grandmother's right. over and our mom's over, right, and they 78 or, and I'm just get throwing out numbers, and they, 80 years old. If we love that grandma, big mama, like we say, and we love big granddad, then mm -hmm. we do everything we can and every measure to say, you know what? When I leave here tonight, I can leave with a heart saying, I didn't infect anybody. I didn't hurt my family member. And guess what? I didn't hurt myself. Right. And I think Absolutely. that's Absolutely. You have to love your big mama enough uh, yeah. to, to wear your mask and socially distance and yeah. follow the guidelines and stay home. Cancel Thanksgiving. Uh, Mayor Ted Green, thank you so much for joining us today.